Hey guys, welcome back to Rack of Lamb. I know it's been a while since I posted a new video, but I've been super occupied with work, motherhood, and all the curveballs that life throws at me. But I'm back today to share a simple Instant Pot Soup recipe. I'm not sure how the weather around you is like right now, but it's springtime here in New York, which brings us lots of rain, gloomy days, and nippy temperatures, which is also the best weather for some heartwarming soup like Sayur and Choi Tong or watercress soup. I like to throw in some pork ribs to add that aromatic bone broth flavor into the soup, but feel free to switch up the ingredients. So why don't we get started and be sure to like, share, subscribe, and leave a comment below if you tried out my recipe. As with all my Chinese soup recipes, whether prepared on the stove or in the Instant Pot, let's begin by parboiling 2.5 pounds of pork ribs. To do this, place the ribs in a large pot, then fill with enough cool water to cover the ribs, then bring the pot of water to a boil over high heat. This process never fails to provide me with assurance that I'm cooking with clean meat and bones, given all the impurities that are afloat after boiling. Now give the ribs a thorough rinse to get off the extra gunk, then set them aside. You'll also need a daikon, peeled and cut into large chunks. The one I used here weighed about 12 ounces. Make sure you don't cut the chunks too small as they will literally melt into the soup. I prefer cutting my daikon for soup using the roll cut method, but feel free to cut them however you wish. Moreover, you'll need a large thumb of ginger, peeled and smashed. This soup requires minimal preparation, doesn't it? Let's break out our Instant Pot and let's get cooking. Heat the pot using the saute feature. Add a tablespoon of neutral oil, followed by your smashed ginger, stirring until you can smell its aroma, then add the two and a half pounds of parboiled pork ribs. Allow the ribs to sear until slightly browned. Then add the daikon. along with six cups of water, two teaspoons of chicken powder or gaifan, and one teaspoon of sea salt or to taste. Give it a brief stir, then close the lid, ensuring that the seam valve is in sealing position, then pressure cook for 40 minutes. When 40 minutes is up, allow the pressure to naturally release or do a quick release 15 to 20 minutes upon completion. And for the final step, you're going to hit cancel and turn on the saute function once again. When the soup begins to bubble, add two large bunches of washed watercress. Submerge them into the hot soup so that they become fully wilted. Watercress is a great source of vitamin C and K, antioxidants, calcium and iron, and as the name suggests are very high in water content. Adding them into soup must keep us super hydrated. Allow the watercress to boil for about 5 minutes or until cooked to your liking. Just be sure not to overcook the watercress as they will turn yellowish in color which also impacts its flavor. Lastly and optionally, add 2-3 to three tablespoons of dried goji berries or gay Z for added nutritional benefits. Add a dash of white pepper powder and additional salt to suit your palate. Blend all the ingredients together to fully incorporate the condiments, and you are finito! Serve the soup in bowls with a little bit of each ingredient. Some watercress, ribs, daikon, goji berries, and of course some soup. And there you have it! My easy instant pot recipe for sai yuan choi tong. Accompany the soup with a dish of soy sauce for dipping the ribs in and fight whatever germs are going around with this heartwarming and immune-boosting soup. I hope you enjoyed my recipe. And if you do, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.